I'm not surprised by the latest development that Ed Reed will not be coaching Bethune-Cookman. After the rant last week, after Ed Reed complaining about his office wasn't clean, pretty much there was trash that the football team was cleaning up. Ed Reed just disrespected and went off on Bethune-Cookman. Now, he la- later on, he apologized. But I guess Bethune-Cookman and Ed Reed realized this is not really a great fit. But I'm not surprised. Now, Ed Reed addressed this on Twitter, said his legal team was trying to work on a contract, and I guess it didn't work out. I thought Ed Reed might want to try to do the work, but Bethune-Cookman is totally different than the University of Miami. University of Miami is flush with cash. Bethune Cookman, you gotta realize he they was hit with two hurricanes in 2022. Not to mention over the last 40, 50 years, how states have been withholding HBCU money. It wasn't funding these HBCUs the way they was funding these FBS schools, these PWIs. So every course with exuberance he he wanted to tackle the job he's working he was working 20 certain days without a contract but they ain't clean his office trash all over the place he's looking around like yo what's going on here what's going on here so he took his frustrations out on social media and that was a terrible look he apologizes now today on twitter he said he couldn't they couldn't work out the contract it wasn't it wasn't gonna work out. And he's out as head coach of Bethune Cookman. But I thought something was off anyway. I mean, you got a coach working without a contract, like where they do that at? No no press conference. You got your head coach that you hired, that you announced that you hired. He working twenty seven days without a contract. Come on. How you hire Ed Reed, Hall of Famer, like the best safety ever? And he ain't on billboards. You're not propping him up. You're not throwing a lavish press conference. So I always thought something was fishy with this whole situation. Especially when everybody said I'm working without a contract. It's a red light right there. He working three, four weeks without a contract. So Bethune Cookman wasn't sure if he he was going to be the person. And Reed wasn't sure about the whole Bethune Cookman and it didn't work out. But Ed Reed, good people, though. This one incident don't mean he, he's not good people. He's real good people. Watching this joke for 30 years. No problems. Always authentic. It just wasn't going to work out at Bethune Cookman. So, look, I'm going to talk to these guys later. It's Corner Sportsnet.